Okay, you ready? Yeah. All right. So welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and next to me is the graphic progeny herself, Nat. We are continuing to open up the awesome figures from Hasbro, the Indiana Jones line of figures. This is the Worlds of Adventure line. This is Indiana Jones. Oh, and with horse. And, yeah, with horse. You're right. It says Indiana Jones with horse. So the World of Adventures line, it is geared towards younger kids. It says 4 plus, and it's kind of, you know, the age they roughly seem to have talked about. To me, a little odd, because when it comes to Indiana Jones, I don't really think of a uh, thing for kids. So it, it's kind of interesting. So let's see here. What do we yeah, get? And also, this is a little real because it's not as big as the other Indiana Jones, and you can remember kind of remember that we sold all the ones that were then reviewed each day to right. you. That is right. You can know that because we only did two. Yeah. Because there only been two weekend days. But it's tomorrow after this day is a weekend for me too. So we can also do it. Each day even though even though it's a two day that day, we'll tell them to do it. That's right. So what does this have? We got Indiana Jones. Yep. There's a whip. Yep. There's a horse. Yeah. It looks like a kind of like a satchel or a backpack. Yeah. There's a snake. And then there and is... And he doesn't like snakes. He doesn't like snakes. That's right. You learned that from the 12-inch figure, right? Yeah. Because what does it say? I don't... I don't like snakes. It does say I don't like snakes. And then we get a, a little a little chalice from uh, Last Crusade for those it's who... A, it's actually a trophy, but it looks weird. Not like a trophy, but it is. It looks like a trophy, but it is. Okay, so let's open it up, and I, I want to see what you think about this. So this reminds me of the, the, the Magic Necks, or I think they're called Magic Necks or whatever line yeah, of things. Yeah, it also reminds me of a thing. Yeah? I'm just doing it so it can remind me. So yeah, so this is the, the line that kind of reminds me of those uh, Imagine X lines. I think Mattel does those or whoever does those. That's the or for the younger kids. Uh, but those were figures you never really into. You, you didn't get into that line of figures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and despite all the stuff that was in there, that was just those are toys that you never really uh, you never had an interest. It was kind of interesting. All right, so let's. Yeah, and also that Indiana Jones is the same as. This Indiana Jones. It is, it is the same Indiana Jones, just one is big and one is little. Yep. Yep. And it's from the same movie, they're just different sides. It, it's from the same films, yes, that's right. Alright, let's see here. So we've got the small little Indiana figure. Let's go and see what moves on him. We got his arms can move up and down. Yep. It can go side to side. There's a lot of movement on this. We got the legs can go up and down. The, the, hips, the hips don't really move. The head moves, can go even go up and down. So that's a lot of movement yeah. for Indiana. So let's let's kind of zoom in on Indiana here. There we go. So it's a it's a pretty a pretty flexible figure to do stuff. All right, I'm gonna you, you check out Indiana and think about that, and I'm gonna show off the horse. So this is just known as horse on the box, no name given, just horse, and it has legs that can go back and forth. All the legs move. The head goes up and down. The tail doesn't move. It's 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 pretty basic. Yeah, and not to this to move, yeah. but it has to take back. Do you think we can put Indiana Jones on the horse? Yep, I know. Yeah. I, you know I, that? I know that we can because yeah, he's riding it. He's riding it. And it right down. All right, so let's see how easy it is for Indiana to hold the hold the actual like reign of of or whatever these are called. Yeah. The thing. The thing. handles. The handles of the horse. Yeah, and these and the hand is all super different because this one to make in a museum. See? Because he doesn't even make any noise, but he does. But you know what we gotta go look at? Yeah. We gotta look at all the accessories. Yeah. So Hasbro's been doing their their uh their <laughs> environmentally friendly stuff. Uh so this this stands up pretty well. You can see there, I haven't really done a whole lot. It, it stands up pretty well. Alright, so let open open that up. And I and it's easy for me to open because I can just tear it. it. All right, for the table so we don't lose anything. And and also we have to pull them all out. And and I can see that it actually is a toy, but it was one right. take, but it take the. Ooh. But we didn't see this this heel, yep. but it is it. So it's a little pulse for Indiana to hold. So that's cool. We can put this on the side of the horse, and it mm -hmm. sticks, and it opens up. And you know what we're gonna put in there? We put on the Holy Grail. Yep. We get a nice little, nice little Grail in there. 
because yep. it belongs in the museum Good. and it fits in nicely. What else do we got? Can we put, do you think we can put this on him? Yeah, we can. We can? We have to put it on his arm. Yeah, so we can get that on pretty well. Do you think, yeah. the, hip, do you think the whip will fit in his hand pretty well? Yep, I right, think you so. Do that? All right, you do that. And I will have to take a while for this. This will take a while. That's gonna take a while? All right, if you can't do it and you need help, you can just ask. I think you can do it. And and I can't do show, it. Show it to the camera. I can do it. You can see it. And this also opens up, up no. so we can take it out. And then we've got snakes. Ah. He hates snakes. Yep. He has a phobia of snakes. He's afraid of snakes. Do you know that? He doesn't just dislike snakes. He actually is afraid of snakes. I know that because the figure will take. The, the other figure told you that? Yeah. Okay. So what do you what do you think of this? What do you think of the Indiana Jones World of Adventure? Yeah, Indiana and Jones we can also put and on the table over full and pretend a horse is running and then a horse hops over and he's a little girl, but then he transforms and then he did and then he's dead and then he's just the dwarf of his horse. And then he walks in, and the place is where it needs to be. But we have, but then we put it back in there because it belongs in there. And then we just hop him back on, and then he rides off. But I have to find the word. So it's next right here. And he finds a tape, and then the horse does a big stuff. And then, and then the horse runs off. The horse, okay, cool. So what, overall, what do you think of the, the Indiana Jones uh, Indiana Jones with horse figure? Good. You like it? Because this can go on and off. Okay. We got, the and audience likes it. The, the, the demographic that this is, uh, this is aimed for seems to enjoy it. So would this be, this is gonna be a fun toy to play with? Yep. Cool. And it's for four year olds, so. It's for four year olds, that's right. And it's full enough so we can do up Oh, oh. <laughs> Correct. All right. This will be hitting shelves. You can go get yours. Again, I want to thank Hasbro for hooking us up with this copy for review and to show off. Much appreciated. We have a lot more to come. There's a bunch more in this line we're just going to go through first, and then we'll go from there to the other Indiana Jones stuff. Uh, as always, if you want the latest toy news, Hasbro news, comic news, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram. TikTok, Mastodon, all graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, I want you to keep playing with your toys and keep it geeky. What do you want to say? You want to say anything before we sign off? And also, we can kind of put this in, but it doesn't have to hold super tight. And, and, and it can close easily, but not so much for a thing. But we can still open it and close it. But that's a little hold, so we can just leave them not on. And we can only have a toll for you and deal. Okay. Well, you, you're at first. Do you want to say bye? And this also is a good thing because we can take it off and on. And if you ever find these on yourself when it's out, you can have it. All right. But this can also not so much throw on the horse. We can only put it on its ear or its tail. Okay. Which is a good hold. Oh, we can put it on its own, but then it would just sign off, so that's a bad idea. But, of but also, we can have any. Okay. And it don't have it on her own, mm -hmm. and that would be cool, but yeah. then it will bake, but it's easy to not get it bake. That's, that's good advice right there. Good, good advice for playing toys. Okay, can you say bye? Until next time, keep playing with your toys. Bye! With Anna and the toys. Keep playing with the toys. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.